This is case study of a nine years old boy with a history of PEO, fever with rigors for the last one week. Here we see a uh, patient is in right uh, lateral decubitus posture and uh, we can see fluid above the diaphragm. Those is not uh, too much of a fluid, but minimal fluid is there. Can you be there? Now this is the angle from where I am for the seeker. This is the angle from where I am getting the high up. I am high up in the chest here, near the axillary region, posterior axillary region, hanging the probe in line with the uh, costal margin and I'm in the costal margin. And uh, when I come down here, and in this posture, I am able to see the kidney. I'm sure. So this is a This is the fluid in the left peritone, uh, left uh, space, and this is the spleen, and this is the left kidney. Now you just see this is the upper pole of the right kidney, uh, left kidney. This is the left kidney, and the magnified view. See the fullness of the pyramids. This is a pyramid. Note the echogenic fine sand light particles within this uh, significantly dilated uh, pyramid. This is the second one. This is full of internal echoes. Central sinus echo complex is rather muffled. The outer surface, the capsule is intact. Now this is the mid region and here you see again the pyramids that are seen are full show fullness this is a pyramid with equals this is the pyramid with equals this is a pyramid with equals this is a pyramid with equals so at the all at all regions the pyramids stand out very prominent and uh, they do have uh, internal echoes within them. Moreover, this is the lower pole of the left kidney. This is the upper pole, mid region and the lower pole. You can see that the echogenicity of the cortex, of, this is the cortex, is uh, raised as compared to that of the normal. Now here at the lower pole, let the pivot go up. Yes. There is another clubbing of the pyramids. Again, these are the pyramids. The kidney. From prone posture, 7.6 cm in length and uh, 4.0 cm in anterior posterior diameter. So, this is the dimensions are normal. Now this is a typical case of 
acute pyelonephritis. Central sinus echocomplex is rather muffled, not completely, but is muffled. This is a typical picture of acute pyl acute pyelonephritis. Here you see this is the capsule of the twin. And you see fluid below the capsule at the lower port. This hypopoic area is the fluid. This is the capsule. This is the fluid, eco-filled fluid. This is the cortex. This is the medulla. This is the cortex. This is the medulla. This is from the prone posture and you can still see the pyramids stand out very prominent. There is a rather slight muffling of the central sinus echo complex. The pyramids have echoes within them at all levels. So this is one of the pyramids. See how much it is filled with echoes. This is the cortex. See its uh, echo brightness is significantly more as compared to the normal. This is the second kidney, the right kidney giving you almost the same finding as we saw in the uh, right kidney. That is, see the prominence of the pyramids and equals within them prominence of the pyramid, slightly muffled central sinus echo complex. This is a pyramid again with equals So no subcapsular fluid is seen in this kidney. This is the right kidney of the child. Mayors 7.7 cm in length, 4.0 cm in anterior posterior diameter, 4.0 cm in anterior posterior diameter, the dimensions are normal. This is the urinary bladder and uh, the bladder is normal, no popperian scene, no calculus scene, no debris scene. So this is a case of uh, acute pyelonephritis as a cause of PO in a child with Age nine years, uh, nine years. This is the right kidney with the, see the echogenicity of the cortex is raised compared to that of the uh, liver. Is there any fluid above the diaphragm or in the pleural space in this side? No, there is no pain. However, there is, the left kidney is uh, involved more as compared to the right one. And here we do see the fluid. The fluid is seen above the diaphragm. So, a case of acute pyelonephritis. Thank you very much.